a bottom tap down in there. Okay, uh, we did, I mean, it's not a real new looking tap, but it's, uh, it was a bottoming tap in uh, winter. Uh, got all kinds of signias around there. Uh, real fancy looking uh, leaf and, and uh, you know, probably in his day it was a real class weld or a class tap there. All right, so anyway, we got the first one. We're going to go ahead and duplicate that with the other two. And then we're going to go in with the slit mode here. All right, uh, we finished our, our bores in these parts here and, and our tapping and all that. Now we got them over here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to swing this head around, and I'm going to run this wheel cutter, um, and we're going to take and make a uh, slit across here so that we have a gap so that uh, the clamping grip of these bores on a two inch uh, shaft uh, can happen there and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can quickly rotate this from here to the horizontal position without having to dial it in and know that I'm running true now we're trammed out on our table in this position here and with the dial indicator up here and running back and forth on this surface right here that's how you align this for the vertical uh, alignment and that's why they machine this true with the spindle bore um, and that's that's machined right into the part when they made them alright so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this we're going to let this swing down we're going to bring the table up to it and hand crank the table right to the surface tighten up the head and it's ready to go
Okay, 440, 440 and uh, 1 inch would be 1 inch 440. 1 inch 440 will be the middle of the cut. deeper and we got our clamps. Alright our next step is uh, we're going to go ahead and put a square notch in one that's going to locate on a keyway, existing keyway that will align the rest of this jig for making secondary keyway in the same spot. 
in line with the same spot. Okay, we've got to uh, swivel our head back up to the normal position so that we can come in and we're going to mill out. Um, oh, I got it over in the lathe. We're going to mill out a piece of round stock and we're going to create a brooch guide uh, because we don't have a two inch brooch guide uh, in our collection for some reason. But uh, anyway, let's, um, let's go ahead and move this head now. I'm going to show you how I put this back into alignment fairly easy. Okay, first I pick this side here because it's got the uh, it's got the protractor on it over here. All right, now with just one of the bolts semi loose here. a 916 score flute and we're going to come down and we're going to touch off and we're going to get a width of a cut of 916 on there. The back of the brooch of the backbone, the guide of the brooch is a 916 width. So we're actually going to have a couple thousands over that as far as the width of our cut. And then the base or diameter here it, between the thickness of the first tooth and the, and the entry part of the brooch here at the bottom, it's going to be our depth. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and go side to side until we get a 916 width, and then that'll give us a, 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 a start or a zero point of depth, and then we can go from there. We'll swap out, and I'm going to go ahead and put a turbo end mill in here so we can get busy and uh, really get some material out of there until we get down. we got about 800 and something on the depth that we got to go to uh, fit this brooch guide in there. Zero. 